So we've got this y coordinate over here. It's 3 plus h all squared. What I want to do now is just to multiply that out, get rid of the brackets. So that's 3 plus h multiplied by 3 plus h. Whichever technique you use to do this, when you multiply it out, you should be doing a 3 times by 3, which is a 9, an h times by a 3, which is a 3h, a 3 times by an h, which is another 3h, and an h times by an h, which is an h squared. They're all being added together. So you should be getting there 9 plus 6h plus h squared. So that means that that y coordinate over here, that bit is exactly the same as 9 plus 6h plus h squared. If we can see that there. So that coordinate is 3 plus h and that. So I want to look at this right angled triangle here again. <coughs> I'm going to sketch that out and I suggest you sketch that out separately as well. I'll make some of this smaller, we can all squeeze some of it on together. So this right angled triangle. So that is this triangle along here. So that coordinate is the coordinate 3, 9. The coordinate at the top is 3 plus h, 9 plus 6h, plus h squared. And what I want to do is to work out the gradient of the line, same way as I've worked the other gradients out, by doing the vertical distance divided by the horizontal distance. We've already said the horizontal distance, the distance along from 3 to 3 plus h, is h. <coughs> What is the vertical distance between these two points? Look at the y-coordinate up here. Look at the y-coordinate here. One y-coordinate co coordinate is 9 plus 6h plus h squared. One y-coordinate is 9. What is the difference between those two y-coordinates, Matthew? 6h plus h squared. 6H plus h squared. Okay. So that is the vertical distance. That h is the horizontal distance. <coughs> so the gradient will be the vertical one divided by the horizontal one, which is 6h plus h squared divided by h. If I want to work that out, or well, not work it out, simplify it, what would it be good to do to that expression if I wanted to simplify that at this point? <coughs> what can I do to the top of that fraction, the numerator of that fraction? What can I do just to write it down using less ink? How can I rewrite the numerator of that fraction? What is there in both of these? The Take the h out as a factor. Okay. So the top is h times by 6 plus h squared is h times by h. So I could just rewrite that fraction like that. Okay. What will happen then, James? Yeah, the h there and that h will cancel out. So I've left now the gradient is 6 plus h. So I've got the gradient of this line <coughs> is 6 plus h. Go back to our original drawing for a minute. Those of you in the class, that will appear back in a minute. What I've done now is I've brought this point here down here so it's just a very small bit of x different. And I've called that small bit h. And I've got the gradient of that line is 6 plus h. And remember, we said h is a very, very small amount. So what will actually happen as h gets smaller and smaller? What will happen to the gradient? Six. It'll get closer and closer to 6, yeah. I mean, write that down like this. As h tends to 0, that's an arrow, but you read that out. As h tends to 0, the gradient tends to 6. So as I'm making h very, very small, as it approaches 0, and we read that out as h tends to 0, the gradient tends to 6. So what actually happens is we have come here and we've shown now from this that the gradient on the curve we started with actually at the point 6, sorry at the point 3, 9 rather, the gradient is 6. What I want you to do now is to redo this whole process on a different curve. I want you to redo this process on the curve y equals x cubed. So I'm just going to start you off what I want you to do. What I want you to do, and this time, we'll just do it through sketches. We're going to sketch y equals x cubed, which is something like this. Okay. I want you to start looking at the point, first of all, 2. Well, when x is 2, what will y be if x is 2? Is, sorry, what will y be if y is x cubed? If x is 2? 
That'll be eight. Yep, so that's eight that'll go in there. First of all, I want you to find the gradient between 27. those two points. That will be 27, three cubed. I want you to find the gradient between those two. I do want you to do the halfway one, where the x coordinate is two and a half. And then what I want you to do is to try where the x coordinate is two plus h, where h is very, very small. So see if you can work through that on your own, do exactly the same process, and see if you can get the gradient, what that will be. Exactly the same as what we've done before. I'm going to stop the recording now and just help my class go through that bit.